What's up everybody, Low Tech here, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing some DOS gaming. A little about me, I'm from the end of the DOS era, is when I grew up towards the end of the DOS era, so it's near and dear to me, it gives me that warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feeling. So, putting it on the Nintendo Switch, kind of cool, so I went ahead and did it, and I wanted to make a tutorial to show everybody else how to do it so if you're interested in DOS gaming you want DOS on your switch this is the video for you a couple of things you're gonna need you're gonna need a keyboard it could be Bluetooth or you can dock and have USB and plug your mouse and keyboard into it but Bluetooth just makes it easier so you need a Bluetooth mouse Bluetooth keyboard uh, will make this process possible. Uh, the, the touch screen isn't the greatest. The keyboard isn't the greatest. It'll take you forever. You'll eventually be able to accomplish this video, but it'll take triple the time. So Bluetooth keyboard, Bluetooth mouse, and you're, you're good to go. So once you have that, obviously you need some sort of DOS games. Get them on the switch. However you see fit, I will attach a thumb drive that's formatted to either XFAT or FAT32, something that is readable in Windows and in Linux. And I transferred, you know, for this video, I transferred the one DOS game over so it was on the Switch before proceeding. So something to do just before you get going, get that on your Switch in your home folder, wherever you know where to find it. Mine's going to be in the home folder when we get to that part of the video. And yeah, that's, that's it as far as all you need. Everything else can be done on the Switch. Make sure it's connected to the internet. And we're going to get started here in just a sec. All right, once you're ready to go, open a terminal. First thing you need to do is uh, acquire DOSBox and get it installed. So just type the command you see on the screen and push enter, enter your password, and it'll do its thing. Press or type Y for yes, press enter, let it finish up. Okay, now that it's done, you're going to want to just type in DOSBox. Let it open. Once it's open, type exit to now close it. This was just to build a config file. Now we're going to make directories. So you're going to go in, just follow the uh, on screen prompts. You got to pause the video, pause the video. And you're going to make your main DOS directory. Then you're going to make uh, your A drive directory, you're going to go to make your B drive directory and a C drive directory. Okay, now we're going to open our file browser. You're going to go into your uh, home folder. If you're there, click in the upper right hand corner and you want to show hidden files. This will allow you to get to the DOSBox config file, so look for the uh, .DOSBox folder. Once you're in there, open up the config file. All right, now this is your config file. You can change a lot of different settings in DOSBox in here. If you've never been in here, it may be a little daunting, but you can change all sorts of settings, the audio, video, you name it, it's pretty much in here. So we're going to start out by changing full screen to true. Once that's in there, we have to change the uh, full resolution. So we're going to change it from original to 1280 by 720. All right, and the next line is window resolution. We're going to change that from original to 900 by 800. Once that's in, I'm going to go to the next line, output, and you're going to change it from surface to overlay. Okay, once that's done, you have now correctly oriented your screen, 
and your window and it will now open in full screen. Okay, so you're going to now want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the config file. Once you read the bottom, you're going to get to the auto exec line. So you're going to want to type in exactly the way you see I have it here. Just type it into your exec file. You are now setting up DOSBox to open up and mount A, B, and C. So you'll be able to go to those directories without having to do a bunch of setup. It's already will be set up. You just can go in, type C colon, A colon, B colon, and it will work. So make sure that's there. Once that's there, you're going to want to go to your upper right-hand corner and save this config file and then close it out. Then you can close or back this window to wherever your DOS games that you transferred over are. Mine is this rights folder, so I'm going to copy it. I'm going to move it into this DOS folder. I'm going to move it into my C drive folder, paste it there. Once that's done, you can close that out. Now you're going to go into DOSBox. It's going to load up. You're going to see that it has mounted your A, B, and C drive. So you're going to go to your C drive. You can look at your directory if you need to. Typing the DIR for directory command. Okay, you're going to go change directory to the rights directory in my case. Whatever your game is, that's what you're going to type here. Now I'm in my rights directory. I'm going to look at that directory. I'm going to go into my setup. And this is essentially all the install files without doing the install. So I can just copy paste it. So I'm going straight to setup. I'm going to set my sound blaster for all the sound effects. Now I'm going to start the game. So as you can see, the audio is working. Sound effects are working. Uh, it's running in all its glory. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Here is DOSBox Star Trek Judgment Rights running under it. Running perfectly, no lags. It's super smooth, quite enjoyable. Um, again, as of now, it's running on the keyboard and mouse, but I am going to be tinkering with seeing what I can do using mapping all the buttons to be able to play this game. It is definitely possible. I may do an update video to this if I get that to work properly. But just wanted to put this video out here, quick one, on how to do this. Um, you can add more of those directories, like I had the A, B, and C. You can add a D and have it be your CD-ROM driver, put your CD files in there and run it that way. There's a lot of different things you can do to get more, you know, like Star Wars Dark Forces on CD-ROM, all these CD-ROM games that were DOS-based. You can take the ISO file and mount that. There's a lot of things you can do in DOSBox. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them all. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. And as always, have a good day.